All right, so this event is buzzing with a bunch of undefeated fighters, which totally cranks up the excitement level. Fans can't wait to see some epic matchups featuring the new talents on the UFC scene. It's like watching a reality show where everyone's hoping for that big breakout moment. Now, let's talk about Bruno Silva. He's got a massive challenge ahead, going up against Ishmael Nardev. If Bruno wants to shake off this gnarly three-fight losing streak, he really needs to snag a win. The pressure is on, and this fight could be a game-changer for him in the UFC. Switching gears to Ilya Tapuria, this dude is a rising star. He's got a shot to snag his second major win this year against the legendary Max Holloway. With an impressive record and a killer fighting style, this matchup is definitely one to watch. Who doesn't love a good underdog story? Now let's hype up Hayful. His striking game is no joke, especially with those spinning elbows and body kicks. He really shows off his skills in those stand-up situations, and he's all about waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Patience is key in the ring, right? But on the flip side, we got Eel Un, who's more like a bulldozer, super strong, but kind of lacking in defense. His raw aggression can totally overwhelm opponents, but it also leaves him wide open for a counterattack. It's a risky game he's playing. And speaking of skills, technique is everything in MMA. Hayful's footwork and timing are on point, allowing him to whip up better combinations than Eel Un's more reckless style. It's all about strategy here, folks. Now, let's not forget about cardio. Bruno Farah has to keep his cool while facing off against Abu's crazy aggression right in the first round. Staying composed could be the difference between winning and losing here, no doubt. Bruno's got a game plan, too. He's looking to counter those front kicks from Abu's while making sure his takedown defense is on lock. If he pulls this off, he'll totally control the tempo of the fight. Smart move. When we break down Jeff Neal up against RDA, it's all about fight IQ and consistency. RDA's grappling and pressure tactics could really tip the scales in his favor during their matchup. It's going to be a chess match in the cage. Now, Armin's got some serious striking power but he might find himself struggling against Schur's defensive game and speed. That could really mess with his chances of landing those big hits. Schur's got a killer strategy using leg kicks and side kicks to keep Armin at a distance. If he pulls this off, it could totally change the fight's outcome. Keeping your opponent guessing is the name of the game. Then there's the fight dynamics, which really depend on Schur's ability to counter Armin's aggression while keeping that distance. If he can move well and time his strikes right, he's got a solid shot at victory here. Looking ahead to Whitaker's fight against Hamza, it's shaping up to be a tactical showdown. Both fighters have unique strengths, and Whitaker's experience in long fights might just give him the edge he needs. But hold up! Hamza's grappling skills and quick takedowns are a real threat to Whitaker, especially in those early rounds. Still, let's not forget Whitaker's solid takedown defense. He's been in the game long enough to know how to handle the heat. And finally, we get to the main event. Ilya Tapura versus Max Holloway. This fight is going to feature two of the best in the featherweight division. Tapura's mix of boxing and Brazilian jiu-jitsu is bound to give Holloway's striking prowess a run for its money. Ilya's wrestling abilities could play a massive role in securing a win, especially if he blends them with his striking. That multifaceted approach might just give him the upper hand against Holloway. Max Holloway's striking style and footwork are major players in this matchup. If he can keep moving and countering effectively, things are going to get super competitive. Ultimately, the toughness of these fighters is going to be a big deal. Both are known for bouncing back from tough hits, which means we're in for a seriously intense and entertaining fight.